The Ben Yehuda street bombings refer to a series of attacks by Palestinian Arabs and suicide bombers on civilians in downtown Jerusalem, Israel in 1948 and later on. The attacks were carried out on Ben Yehuda Street, a major thoroughfare, later a pedestrian man, named for the founder of modern Hebrew, Eliezer Ben Yehuda, 1948, on February 22, 1948. Three British army trucks led by an armoured car driven by Arab irregulars and British deserters exploded on Ben Yehuda Street killing 58 Jewish civilians and injuring 140. A statement issued by the Arab High Command the following day claimed full responsibility and said the explosions were in retaliation for an Ergun bomb attack in Ramla. Unless the Jews adhere to the rules of war, we shall continue indiscriminate reprisals on a bigger scale, said the communiquette. In Damascus, Arab political officials also said that the explosion was the work of Arabs. Two British deserters were involved in the attack, having been promised pay by Abd al Qadhar al Husseini, who was the commander of the Holy War Army forces in the area. 1975. On Friday, July 4, 1975, a refrigerator that had 5 kilograms of explosives packed into its sides exploded on Zion Square, a main square leading to Ben Yehuda Street and Jaffa Road. Fifteen people were killed and 77 injured in the attack. Ahmed El Sukar, who was responsible for placing the bomb, was released from Israeli prison in 2003 as a gesture to Arafat. On November 13, 1975, an explosive charge went off near Café Naver on Jaffa Road, near the pedestrian mall. Seven people were killed and 45 injured. 1976 on May 3, 1976, 33 passers-by were injured when a booby-trapped motor scooter exploded at the corner of Ben Yehuda and Ben Hillel streets. Among those injured was the Greek consul in Jerusalem and his wife. The following day, on the eve of Independence Day, the municipality organized an event at the site of the attack under the slogan, Nevertheless, 1979. On January 1, 1979, a car bomb was found opposite Café Itara on the pedestrian mall and was neutralized about half an hour before it was to have blown up. On March 24, 1979, one person was killed and 13 people were injured when an explosive charge blew up in a trash can in Zion Square. 1997 on September 4, 1997, three Hamas suicide bombers simultaneously blew themselves up on the pedestrian mall, killing five Israelis. The bombing was carried out by Palestinians from the village of Asar al shamaliya Three 14-year-old girls were killed in the attack. Sivan Zaka, Jael Botvin and Smada El-Hanan. El-Hanan was the daughter of peace activist Nurat Peld El-Hanan and the granddaughter of Israeli general and politician Matatiahu Peld. The family of Yael Botvin, a U.S. citizen, filed a lawsuit in the United States against the Islamic Republic of Iran. A default judgment of $251 million in compensatory and punitive damages was awarded to the relatives of Americans killed in the attack. There were few assets of the Iranian government in the United States following the judgment. The plaintiffs threatened to seize valuable Persian artifacts located in Chicago museums and sell them for proceeds, leading to the Chicago's Persian heritage crisis, as well as suing the account of the Bank Meli Iran in the Bank of New York. But having the United States Department of Justice speak as amicus curiae in support of Bank Meli, Advising that the bank had no responsibility for turning the funds over, resulted in a ruling against the students. On December 2, 2013, five U.S. families who were victims of the Iran-backed suicide bombing have been awarded $9 million in federal court. 2001 on December 1, 2001, two suicide bombers detonated themselves on Ben Yehuda Street, followed by a car bomb set to go off as paramedics arrived. 
13 people were killed, including a number of soldiers out of uniform, and 188 were injured. Hamas claimed responsibility, stating that it was in retaliation for the killing of senior Hamas militant Mahmoud Abu Hanoud. A Hamas spokesman in Gaza stated that these bombings did not assuage its lust for vengeance and that it would carry out further bombings. Lawsuits were filed against Arab Bank, NatWest and Credit Lyonnais for channeling money to Hamas. Fatalities Non-Lethal Attacks September 8, 1971 A grenade was thrown into the entrance of Café Alno on Ben Yehuda Street. The grenade did not explode and there were no injuries. December 12, 1974 An explosive device went off in Ben Yehuda Street. Thirteen people were injured lightly to moderately. April 9, 1976, a car bomb was dismantled on Ben Yehuda Street shortly before it was to have exploded. May 2, 1981, a police sapper was moderately injured by an explosive charge that had been placed in a trash can near Café Alno. August 15, 1984, a car bomb was discovered on Ben Yehuda Street and diffused about 10 minutes before it was to have exploded. In the car were about 12 kilograms of explosives and another 3 kilograms of iron nails.